डिस्कस अबाउट द फोर्स बिटवीन टू पैरेलल करंट कैरिंग कंडक्टर्स अप टू हियर वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द एंपियर सर्किट लॉ एंड इट्स एप्लीकेशंस द फर्स्ट एप्लीकेशन इज मैग्नेटिक फील्ड ड्यू टू द लॉन्ग स्ट्रेट करंट कैरिंग कंडक्टर यू गेट द इक्वेशन b is equal to mu not into i divided by 2 phi or or b is equal to mu not into i divided by 2 phi from using that equation here we can calculate the force between two parallel plate current carrying wires in previous video already i discuss about the force due to the current carrying conductor that is only single conductor but in this class now we will discuss about force between the two parallel current carrying conductors two parallel current carrying conductors when the current moving in the same direction with the two parallel plate current carrying wires now i consider these are the two parallel plate current carrying wires when the current is moving in this both the conductors in the same direction then these two conductors are attracted towards each other because when the current is flowing in the conductor the magnetic field is produced the magnetic field is produced suppose the current is moving in these two parallel plate current carrying wires in the opposite direction then the these two parallel wires are repelled with each other and what amount of force is presence in between two parallel plate current carrying wires now i am going to calculate that value force between two parallel current carrying wires consider these are the two parallel current carrying wires these are the two parallel current carrying wires now i consider this is the conductor x and this is the conductor y and i1 is the current flowing in the conductor x and i2 is the current flowing in the conductor y when the current is flowing in this conductor x the magnetic field is produced around this conductor when the current flowing in this conductor y when the current flowing in this conductor y the magnetic field is produced around this conductor but these are the two parallel long straight current carrying conductors when the current is flowing in these two conductors at a time in the same direction at a time in the same direction then the force acting on this conductor is in this direction this force f and force acting on this conductor is this f this f it is in this direction and it is in this direction when the current is moving in the same direction in a two long straight parallel current carrying conductors then these two conductors are attracted towards each other when the suppose in this conductor x the current is moving in this direction in the conductor y current is moving in this direction then force f1 is in this direction f2 e f2 is in this direction the current i is moving in this direction force it is in this direction then the magnetic field is produced according to the right hand graph so the magnetic field is produced the due to this conductor the i1 is the current flowing in the conductor x due to this conductor the magnetic field is produced in this region the magnetic field is produced in this region at least here see the magnetic field b1 and due to this conductor the magnetic field is produced in this conductor that is b2 because when the current is flowing in the straight direction the magnetic field is produced around the current carrying conductor it is in the form of closed loop or it is in the form of circular ring according to the right hand clap rule according to the right hand clap rule or right hand thumb rule a straight current carrying conductor enclosed by the right form thumb indicates the direction of the current and other figure indicates the direction of the magnetic field from using that law when the current is flowing in this conductor the magnetic field is produced on this conductor y the current is flowing in this conductor the magnetic field is produced on this conductor x and the distance between these two conductors 
the distance between these two conductors is d d is the distance between the two parallel plate current carrying conductors and there is a certain amount of force is in between two, two parallel plate current carrying conductors i1 is the current flowing through this conductor x and i2 is the current flowing through the conductor y when the current flowing through the conductor x the magnetic field is produced here when the current flow in this conductor the magnetic field is produced here the magnetic field is produced here now the magnetic field the magnetic field b1 due to the conductor x the magnetic field b1 due to the conductor x we know that the formula we know that from using the ampere's and photon law that is b1 is equal to b1 is the magnetic field due to the conductor x we know the formula magnetic field due to the long state current carrying conductor that is b1 is equal to mu naught into i1 divided by 2 phi d actual formula is mu naught into i divided by 2 phi d or 2 phi r here the magnetic field b1 is produced due to the current i1 and b2 is produced due to the current i2 that's why i write this equation b1 is equal to mu naught into i1 divided by 2 phi d already I derived this equation in first ampere circuit law that is magnetic field due to the long straight current carrying wire. This is the final equation of that application. B1 is the magnetic field is produced on the conductor Y due to this conductor X. Then the force acting on this conductor Y. Now I consider here L is the length of this conductor. L is the length of this conductor, certain limit. This is L is equal to 1 meter. Then, the force acting on this conductor Y. The force acting on this conductor Y. Again, you know the formula. The force acting on the conductor, that is F is equal to IBL sin theta. F is equal to IBL sin theta. Now, the force acting on the conductor Y. Force acting on the conductor Y at a length L. Force acting on the conductor Y at a length L. There is a certain force acting on this conductor at this element length. Then we know the actual formula force acting on a conductor F is equal to I B into L sin theta. This is the formula. I B L sin theta. Force acting on the conductor Y at a length L is. The force acting on this that is F2. F2 is equal to. The current is I2. The magnetic field is B1 into L. Here theta is equal to 90 degree. Then sin 90 degree is equal to 1 you get only this equation. This is equation number 2. This is the force acting on the conductor Y at a length L. Equation number 2. Now, substitute equation 1 in equation 2. Equation 1 in 2. Equation 1 in 2. We get substitute equation 1 in 2. We get F2 is equal to I2 into L b1 is mu naught into i1 divided by 2 phi d divided by 2 phi d or f2 is equal to mu naught into i1 into i2 into l divided by 2 phi d f2 is equal to mu naught into i1 into i2 into l divided by 2 phi d or the force per unit length the force per unit length the force per unit length is, the force per unit length means L is equal to 1 meter. The force per unit length, F2 is equal to mu naught into I1 into I2 divided by 2 phi d. Mu F2 is equal to mu naught into I1 into I2 divided by 2 phi d. This is equation number 3. Similarly, the force F1 equation also becomes here. Similarly, F1 is equal to 
Similarly, F1 is equal to mu naught into I1 into I2 divided by 2 pi d. This is equation number 4. Compare these two equations. Now, but F1 is equal to F2 equal to F. F1 equal to F2 equal to F. F1 equal to F2 equal to F. Then you write this equation. F is equal to F is equal to mu naught into I1 into I2 divided by 2 pi d. Your mu naught value is mu naught means permeability of free space. You know the formula. Mu naught is the constant value that is 4 pi into 10 to the power of minus 7. Substitute that value in this equation. We get mu naught is equal to 4 pi into 10 to the power of minus 7 into I1 into I2 divided by 2 pi into D. Here, pi pi get cancelled, 2 ones are, 2 twos are. Finally, you get the answer, F is equal to 2 into 10 to the power of minus 7 into I1 into I2 divided by D, which is the expression for force between the two parallel, force between the two parallel current carrying conductors. But if one ampere current is flowing in these two conductors in a vacuum, with a distance of d is equal to 1 meter. 1 ampere e current is flowing in these two conductors with a distance of d equal to 1 meter. Then f equal to here i1 equal to i2 equal to 1 ampere and d is equal to 1 meter. Then we get the answer f is equal to 2 into 10 to the power of minus 7 newton. The SI of force is newton. If one ampere is current flowing through the two parallel current carrying conductors with a distance of d equal to 1 meter then the force of attraction between the two parallel wires is 2 into 10 to the power of minus 10 to the power of minus 7 newton with this force these two conductors are attracted towards each other suppose the current is moving in this direction they are repelled with each other now, how do we define 1 ampere? 1 ampere means here the current is flowing through steadily or a steady current flowing through the two parallel current carrying conductors with a distance of d equal to 1 meter with a force of 2 into 10 to the power of minus 7 newton then it is said to be 1 ampere. This is about the force between two parallel current carrying conductors. It is the very simple derivation and it is the three mark question. Here you remember only one point when the current is moving in the same direction, then the two wires are or two conductors are attracted towards each other. The current is moving in the opposite direction, two conductors are repel with each other. Then the force of attraction between these two wires with the length of one meter, with the distance of d is equal to 1 meter then the force is present here f is equal to f is equal to 2 into 10 to the power of minus 7 newton this is about the force between two parallel current carrying conductors thank you